Boys and girls, welcome to the uh, Hawkesbury Working Dog Demonstration. It's proudly sponsored by Purina Pet Care, who make uh, great pet products and uh, great pet food and uh, working dog food. And my name's Anthony, and my partner Jenny is uh, around here somewhere. <laughs> now, uh, what I'm here demonstrating today is uh, how the Australian Kelpie works uh, stock on, the, on uh, the properties all over Australia and all over the world. Obviously in a very small scale here. But I uh, just wanted to explain a little bit uh, about how these dogs work and why they do it. And uh, just show you the abilities that these dogs have. I find that a lot of people uh, don't work these dogs to their full potential. They're very, very capable dogs, very loyal dogs. And uh, they're a great mate and a great tool. So uh, they're a dog that uh, you work with and you can also be uh, best friends with. Now here I have a uh, five-year-old dog. His name is Buck. He's a black and tan Kelpie. The Kelpies come in a variety of colours. We have black and tan, red and tan, fawn and tan, blue and tan, also straight red, straight black, straight cream. So there's uh, different varieties. And as far as male and female is concerned, they all work equally. It just comes down to preference of uh, the farmers, of what, uh, what they'd like to use on their property or uh, uh, what they'd like to use for their sheep or cattle. Now also, uh, before I continue on, we've got uh, four show bags to give away at the end of the show. So if people listen in on uh, things that we say during the show, I'll ask some questions at the end and uh, give away the four show bags. They've got some uh, great pet products uh, for anyone that's got a dog or anyone that knows that, uh, somebody that's got a dog. So, uh, now continue on. These dogs, the Kelpies, the Border Collies, and the Coolies, they're what we call a gathering dog. They actually go around their stock, pick up their stock and draw them towards the owner, towards the handler. That's their natural ability. That's what these dogs are born with. As opposed to a cattle dog. A cattle dog is what we call a driving dog. So the dog works beside us and we drive stock away. Now we do teach the Kelpies and the Border Collies to drive as well. But in my opinion, I don't teach my dogs to uh, drive till they're at least two year old. And the reason being, I let my dogs work naturally for the first year. So they just show me what they're doing. After a year, I start putting commands on the dogs. I teach them their lefts and rights. Um, Anything else that I want it to back off, or anything like that that I want to, uh, I want the dog to uh, to use when uh, when we're working the stock. And then when they're two year old, in my opinion, they they're uh, old enough to realise when I work them towards uh, with us, which is driving. You need to work call the dog to you, which is going against the dog's natural ability. So uh, the dog is old enough to know between the difference between working with me and then going around and bringing the stock to me. I find if you start a dog young and start to uh, drive with it early, always calling that dog to you. So driving is walking along behind your stock and the dog just working here beside you. you find, I find that uh, you take that heading away from the dog so that dog naturally can't go around the front and uh, bring his stock in to you. So you're taking away that ability to work outside where uh, if the sheep were down the road there, we'd be able to send the dog from here, go around the sheep and bring them back here. And what I'm going to demonstrate to start with with Buck is the natural ability of balance. Here, Buck, come here. So what I'll do is, sit. I'll send the dog around. Right. He'll go around his sheep. Now, without saying anything to this dog, this is going to demonstrate the natural ability. So he's bringing the stock to me. Now, he watches where I am, and as I go around, he'll always be on the other side of his stock. So he's bringing the sheep to me. Okay, so this is what this breed of dog is naturally bred to do. As you saw there, he had a quick glimpse, see where I am, and go around to the other side. It makes it very hard to catch a young pup, <laughs> as, as you'll see later on. <laughs> now, uh, it's very important to have that great relationship with your dog, that the dog is doing what I'm asking him to do. It's, work, working stock is about teamwork stock. Now, uh, 
if your dog is out there working on his own, they know how to work stock, not listening to what you're saying, it's not going to be a great day. Right? We need these dogs to be in tune with us, listening to what we want them to do, let them work their stock so they read their sheep, watch all their sheep, keep them together, or cattle, but in the same token, listen to where I want to put them. Now, that dog right now doesn't know whether we're going to put sheep over there or in the trailer or out there, so he has to be listening to what I'm asking him to do. So it's very important to have that, uh, that great bonding with your dog, and a dog, as you can see, is watching me all the time. He's just waiting, right, what do you want me to do? I'm right. So again, the balance part is very, very important, which like I said, if the sheep are out, up into the hills, or anything like that, we can cast that dog around, and uh, he'll bring the sheep down to us, rather than us having to go to the sheep. Now, when, once the dog's brought the sheep into the yards, we basically need a, a different type of dog. Stop. Stop that. Now, the different type of dog is what we call a yard dog. So we've got a paddock dog and a yard dog. These dogs are what they call utility dogs. They're good all-round dogs. Buck here can work both. He'll work out pretty good outside and work in the yards here. Where in the yards he needs to push and shove a little bit. Uh, back his sheep, which you'll see in a minute. So he's got to actually up his game and uh, you'll see a lot of stamina coming out in the dog. Now, all dogs are either more paddocky or more yard. Buck here is more of a yard dog dog. So it's very hard to get that happy medium, but they always will lean one way or the other. Okay, so it's very important to, uh, when a, a farmer is asking for, uh, to buy a dog from us, first question I ask is, what, what type of dog are you after? More of a paddocky type dog or more of a yard dog? Most of the time I get asked the, uh, I get the answer of um, that they want a good all-round dog, which is fair enough, but they still need to know whether they want to lean more towards the yard work or the paddock work. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll ask Buck to put the sheep around into the uh, forcing yard here and then we'll fill the drench race. Now, these dogs can do up to about 100 kilometres a day. So they've got to be very, very fit and agile. And that's why we feed the Bonnie Working Dog. We find it puts a great shine on these dogs and uh, they're capable of uh, handling their day-to-day -day work. And uh, they're dogs that... Uh, don't need much food as far as uh, uh, they're not overly big eaters, but uh, they're dogs that uh, stay very fit and, uh, and uh, like I said, are capable of doing their day-to-day their -day work and do long hours. Now, I'll, uh, I'll ask Buck to go around and put the sheep into the uh, horsing yard here. Walk up. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Good. Yeah, come on. Ready. As you can see, he's watching all his stock. Here, back. Come on. Here, back. Walk out. Here, back. Here. Here. Here, back. Here. Here. Come on. Here. Walk out. Now, these sheep are obviously frightened of all the people there on the fence. So, uh, it makes the dog have to work a little bit harder here. Here, back, here, here, boy, here, get up, get up. Here, back, here, 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 back, here, 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 boy, walk up, here, push up, push up. Now here you can see Buck eyeing the sheep off. That's his inner strength in the dog. So he's just looking at that dog, looking into its eye and saying, move back. Get right up. Stop there. Sit. So it's very important when you, uh, Pick a dog too that you get a good strong dog, especially if you've got uh, a lot of hard work. Um, when you're working rams, rams are very hard to work with dogs. They, they're very hard on dogs. So it's very important to have a dog that can handle himself. I'll just watch your hands there if you don't mind as a sheep will come through. You see a sheep here, half looking at Buck here, thinking, should I take him on or not? And I think he's decided not to. <laughs> he left. Back. Through. Back. Back. Good boy. Come on. 
Iba, iya, iya, iba. I grab it. Iya, grab it. I grab. Iba, grab. I, 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 back, back. Iba, come on. Iba. Ah, walk up, walk up, left, walk up. Walk up, I, I, walk up. Iba, come on, I, come on. Grab it. So what the dog's really got to do here is unscramble his sheep. He needs them to turn around and uh, look for a leader. He buck him up. He buck here, 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 back, back, back here. He buck him on, here, come right, come right, come right, here, here. He buck him up, he back, back. Come on, here, he buck, here, here, back. Here, come on, here, back, back, come on, back. Here, come on. Back, back. Here, come on, come on, come on, here, 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 come on, come on, here, here, push. Ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki,ibaki
So the dogs respond to our body language. He doesn't. He will never understand what the, the English language is. All it is is when that dog naturally goes round to the right, I'll simply say right to the dog, or whatever word I want to use, and that dog will soon correspond right with going to his right side. Same with sitting. I come up to a young dog. Here we have a young pup. Sit, sit, game, sit, game, sit, game, sit, sit, game. I get her attention, sit, and then she sits down. I don't physically grab the dog and put it down. I let that dog make eye contact. I stand over the top of the dog and then sit. And when I say sit, she'll learn that that's what it is. Okay, so uh, we'll get to the pup in a minute. Now, the important thing is to teach the lefts and rights is if we're moving stock down uh, a creek line or anything like that, we want to keep the sheep out of the creek so we can send the dog to the right side or the left side, basically uh, our steering, so we can steer the stock wherever we want to go. The stop is our brakes, and then we use back off. So, you buck, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, get off, stop, get off, get off, get off, buck, get off, get off. We take pressure off the stop. So when we want to put them through a gateway, we take the pressure off and it allows the sheep to have a look and go through the gate. So there are little things that uh, I like to teach my dogs, and I find that they're very effective in, uh, in different situations. You buck, that'll do. Okay, now, uh, hop up, mate. So that's a uh, five-year-old dog. Here, Buck, hop up. These dogs reach their full potential when they're four-year-old. So young dogs I don't ask too much of. I like to see a two- to three-year-old dog do a decent day's work, but uh, anything under than that, uh, I like to uh, just let them be fairly natural. Now, this here is young Jam, and she's uh, four months old. So she's only a baby. And all we do with this dog is put her out on the sheep twice a week, just for about five minutes. Their attention span is very short, just like children. So uh, I put them out from, from six weeks of age. I put them out on the sheep. I just want them to show me what natural work they've got. I want to see anything similar to what Buck just did. Here, come on, Jim. Here, here, Jim. Here, Jim. Good girl. And all I do is praise anything that she does really good. Good girl. I walk around here again. This dog doesn't know her lefts and rights, but I walk around. She's naturally going to try and beat me at times like that because she's not watching where I am. Once that dog learns to focus on where I am, she'll balance a lot better. So at first, we'll come out and help the dog learn to, to go the way that we want him to go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Jim. A young pup like this, that's all we want to see him do. <laughs> that was a bit naughty. She shouldn't have gone through the sheep. She should have went around them. But again, like I said, she's only little and young. But we don't reprimand our dogs. I might just put on a bit of a cranky voice just to let her know that that was wrong. So that uh, when she does hear that voice, she'll go, OK, I've done something wrong. <laughs> and also, very important to praise the dog. So when she does things right, she might walk up to a sheep or uh, have a little bark or anything like that. I'll just uh, tell her that she's a good girl, because that way, that dog, that's their reward, because we don't use treats when we uh, train our dogs. Our treats to the dog is a pat and saying, uh, good girl or boy. The reason we don't use treats when we're working on the farm, if I've got a pocket full of treats, why is the dog doing what I'm asking it to do? Because it's going to come and get a treat. But that's not what it's about. As I said earlier, it's about teamwork, and it's about that dog wanting to do what I'm asking it to do. So this is how I would teach a dog its sides when it gets to a year old as it's going around like this. Left. Left. Good girl. Right. Right. That's how simple it is. And it's so much easier when you've let that dog work naturally from a young age. That way it learns to uh, move its stock pretty good and uh, listen to what you're saying. Now, young Jamie is doing a very nice job. She's keeping them in a nice mob. She's got a bit of eye. So uh, she's a dog that uh, I really like and uh, good girl, good girl. That was very nice work. She's on the wrong side of the sheep there, but she's making the effort to do something with it. <laughs> good girl, good girl. So, uh, so that was very, very impressive from her. That's what I like to see in my young dogs.
Now we'll get to the hard bit where I've got to try and catch the dog. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is where I've got to come in and do some work. <laughs> Jam. Now, naturally, when they're young like this, we want to try and just teach them to stop and sit. That's the only commands that we do teach them. Jam. Just lock her off there. Jam. As I said, their natural ability, good girl, The natural ability is to uh, balance. So when we're trying to catch this dog, every time I come towards the dog, she's trying to get to the other side. Good girl. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl, sit, sit. Good girl. Okay, so that's a little four-month-old pup. Shows you the ability that uh, these dogs do have. And uh, she's a very impressive young, young dog. Now, I hope you've been listening here. I've got uh, some show bags to give away. So, uh, for starters, can somebody tell me uh, how many kilometres these dogs can run? Hands up, please. Yeah, mate? 100 k's. There you go. I think you've got a dog. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Okay, uh, can somebody tell me one of the colours the uh, Kelpie comes in? Yes? Brown and tan. Congratulations. Red and tan. Yeah, that's it, all the colours. <laughs> okay. And can somebody tell me uh, how old Buck is? How old Buck is? Yeah, mate. Five. You've been listening? <laughs> you just pass that to him, please. And now we'll go for the tricky question. Can somebody tell me how old an eight-toothed sheep is? Yeah, mate. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> how about a round of applause for all the winners there? I hope you've enjoyed the show and uh, it's been educational to you. We've got some little uh, six-week-old pups there. Uh, if any children want to have a pad or a photo with them, uh, please do so. And also, anyone got any questions, come and see us. Thank you very much. We've got another show, I think it's at... Uh, quarter to 11 or something like that. Okay, thank you. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, come and see, and I saw, and behold, a white horse. Oops, I did it again, baby. Yeah! Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye for now.